This is going to be easiest video on the internet how to install HyperOS on almost any Xiaomi Redmi phone. Make sure you watch this video till end and you will have the Xiaomi's new HyperOS in your phone without any problem. So first of all of course you must need a bootloader unlocked. So once you have your bootloader unlocked go to your phone setting go to about section and tap on this build number 7 times and this will unlock your developer setting. Now go to developer setting and enable USB debugging. Now download these two files HyperOS and HyperOS recovery. Now this is a special recovery which is required for HyperOS. And also you need to download platform tools folder. I will drop all the links in description below. So once you download the platform tools folder and now we are going to copy these two files HyperOS and the special recovery into the platform tools folder. And now on this platform tools folder press shift key and press right key and press open command window here. And now connect your phone via the USB cable. Now type ADB devices. If you see any random number here it means your ADB is working and now you are ready to install. So now type ADB reboot bootloader. Now this will boot your phone into fast boot mode. So once you are into your bootloader mode we are going to check if our fast boot is working. For that type fast boot devices and again you will see a random number and fast boot. It means fast boot is working properly. Now we are going to boot in this special recovery. For that type fast boot boot and then drag and drop this recovery into the command prompt and press enter. It will take few seconds and your phone will automatically boot into recovery. So once you are in recovery we are going to wipe our data. For that go to wipe type yes press enter and it will wipe complete data in your phone. Now go back, go to advanced swipe, select Dalvi, cache and data and then swipe right. So once that's done we are going to boot into our bootloader. So last time we boot into recovery and this time we are actually going to flash the recovery. And for that fast boot flash recovery. Now copy the name of the recovery, paste it here. Don't forget to add dot .img, press enter. And this time it will actually flash the recovery in our phone. And now let's reboot into recovery again. Type fastboot reboot recovery. And finally we are going to install now HyperOS in our phone. We are going to use ADB sideload for that. So go to advance, ADB sideload, wipe Dalvik and cache, swipe right and then in the command prompt type ADB sideload space, copy the name of your HyperOS file, paste it here, don't forget to dot zip at the end and press enter. Now this is one and a half GB file so it will take a little longer. I am not fast forwarding just to let you know how long it will take. Now from here you need to wait patiently for 5 to 6 minutes. Don't remove your data cable from your phone. So while we wait for installation, it's time to thank our sponsor for this video. This is Anchor Nano Series for charger. It has USB-C so basically you can charge anything. And on this amazing Black Friday they are offering 60% off on their charging accessories. And if you shop more than $150 you will receive an exclusive gift from Anchor. And Anchor has been selling one of the base quality charging products over the years. So don't wait anymore, just go to description and click the first link to buy Anchor products today.
now HyperOS is installed, but still the process is not finished. But we don't need the PC anymore. Now just go to data and format the data again, type yes, and you will see these errors. Just ignore those errors. And then reboot your phone to recovery again. And this is the final time we are going to wipe our data. And this time you won't see those errors. It means the job is done. Now reboot the system. You can remove the data cable now. Finger crossed. And it will hopefully boot into HyperOS. Now I am again not fast forwarding just to let you know how long it will take for your first boot. Because some people get panicked when their phone doesn't boot for first time. And once you see this Xiaomi HyperOS, it means you have installed HyperOS successfully and now you can relax and enjoy this amazing new OS. Now I will quickly fast forward all the setup and show you this is HyperOS Base 114 on my Redmi Note 10 Pro. So I hope I could help you in installing HyperOS and if you want me to review HyperOS in the next video, please like this video and I will see you tomorrow.